morning. It's now September 24th. After much decision, I decided that I would go on a side tour of this tape so we get a full 90 minutes of, well, all kinds of entertainment and, and delights here and there. Journey, journey number two in a planet of the apes. How you doing? What's, what's your name? How you doing? No. No, I just wanted to know. Hey man, in the editing room, we're walking around on a journey to try and find interview people. This was like late September. Okay, bye. Space cutter! It's called Sam. How you doing today? Okay. How's it going? All right. How's it going? All right. Uh, this is Muffy, Skip, Skip, and Biff walking around outside looking for some some potential interviewee. Uh, why I don't know. I'm not succeeding, obviously. Huh? Yeah, we're on a mission in outer space. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Uh, help us. It's the middle of the week. Do Tom Corbett's space cutter. Tom Corbett's space cutter! And in the editing room, this is after a drunken night on the strip. Enjoy. Hello. I'm Dave. I'm on Nick. Come on. G'day, Bruce. Yes, tomorrow me and Todd, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna start a, a, a new direction. Me and Todd, Todd's in advertising. I'm, I'm in pre-law. We're gonna go in there, and we're gonna say to our advisor, we're going to philosophy. Drop everything, we're going to philosophy. You know, like, we're not going to mess around with this other stuff. We're going to go in there, and we're going to state philosophy, and we're going to become philosophers and sit on a mountain in our lazy boys and give advice to everybody that comes to us about questions they wonder about. Like, like, uh, like, what's your favorite kind of color? Okay. Yeah, okay, oh, okay, eh? Like, if I, if I had a favorite color, it'd probably be yellow, because, like, you know, as a color, as a color of beer. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if I, a, a favorite color, it'd be, it'd be yellow, and that's, that's a, that's a color of beer. Yeah. Okay. Twelve twenty-one Thursday night. We got class tomorrow. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Look at Ronald McDonald. Ronald says McDonald. hi. Hey, Ronald McDonald says hi. Oh yeah. Hi, Ronald McDonald. I'm the last little children. He is. He's kill the clown. The kid loving clown. Ah, we don't have the beer light on. Pause. I will pause, your pause for the light. Okay. Hang on. The beer light is now on. It sounds, it sounds kind of nutty. <clears throat> yeah. What Same you, night. What are you going to do? Ted Knight died for your sins. It's nice here with a view of the trees eating it with a spoon. They don't give you knives. I expect you watch those trees blowing in the breeze. We want you to see you lead a normal life. Viewpoint. Well, Todd, it's pretty deep. What I think it all means is they're afraid we want to kill each other. No, no knives thing. Yeah. I'm pretty hosed right now. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy to be alive. Yeah, I'm happy too. I, I'm always happy when I go out on a strip to be alive because bad things could happen. Like what? Bad things happen when the moon is full. What bad things? Oh, like, I don't know. You, you can get slashed by knife and Gatsby's and... Did you hear about that? Yes, I did. Yeah. I heard it before. Yeah, you did. Did you hear about the guy getting... Waving heart, a, waving heart, a, heart, heart music. He was waving a gun in the tent in the bathroom. Would you be scared if you were not John? Waving a gun around? Yeah. That would put a damper on the whole game. Hi, Dave. How's Colorado doing? Arms control. Arms control. Let's control that arms. <clears throat> Handguns, though. Uh, yeah. Handguns. Um, what's been happening in your life? We decided after much deliberation that one side of the tape would not suffice. Uh, 
it just wasn't enough, and we had so many ideas and so many neat things we had planned. Oh, come you on, know. don't give me that shit. We didn't plan anything. We okay, just, it's all faking it. Okay, it, it is faked, and this is all spontaneous. However, there are, you know. But it's, it's quality. It's quality. I, it is quality. I, f I figure out of patheticism, there will be a few moments of genius. What do you think? Yeah, a few moments of genius interspersed with a few moments of medi medi mediocrity, if I can say that. Yes, <laughs> I can say it. I can say it. Mediocrity, something like that. Medi 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 Socrates. Yeah, he was an ancient Greek philosopher, brother of Socrates. They look symbol. I know. <laughs> Songs for Todd Florence, dedicated to Todd Florence. Here we go. I was born in East Moline, yeah, man. I was, uh, I was born in East Moline, yeah. Born in East Moline. East Moline. You know, I was, I was discussing what this tape actually encompasses, what it is, per se, and I, roommate and I both agreed, it's a collage, it's a, it's a, a, potpourri. a potpourri sound collage potpourri. of, of uh, experiences, uh, that moments. That has exemplified our first days here. Exemplified our first days here, right, and, and, uh, Especially you know. The myriad of boring, as it is now, to be exciting. Right, it's 9.09 p.m., it's uh, now... Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. Hey, how you doing? What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Come on up. Good, 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 good. Dave, I'll get down to it and I'll let you know what's really been happening here. I've been kind of putting it off here. Uh, I'll tell you. The deep and older forests of Southern Illinois are really bringing out the Walt Whitman in me. Um, I tell you, the social scene down here is truly delightful. Mainly because it's geared toward, you know, toward the student population. The Greek system down here is, is scorned and pathetic. This consequently is a very positive factor because it seems to reduce the conformist Madonna wannabe factions. People are down here are independent to the point of violence. Many 60s throwbacks. I, I fit in happily. I know in what retrospect Western was an okay place to spend two years, but I think two years was more than enough. My dorm is a four-story complex with only two RAs, both of whom are female and incompetent. They don't live on my floor. In fact, there's no RAs on my floor or the two other floors, floors below me. There's no limited visitation policy at all. Consequently, chaos is the rule, but you, you dig it. Here's a little uh, National Lampoon. Hello. Do you like to dance? Have fun? Learn to make a friend? Get out of the house? Learn in the step? Go out? Why don't you come down to the Heifman Garden and learn some salsa and the hustle and the bump? Call me Sid Blechnaven today. What are you waiting for? Where the hell are you? Let yeah, Phil, I was, uh, I was wondering uh, what's a good shampoo to use. Uh, do you think uh, the, the, the ones that are uh, pH balanced are better? Or, uh, uh, excuse me one second. Have you ever heard of the expression jism? Uh, jismnasium. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Dick. Yes. If there's a God, why did he let President Kennedy with a Catholic be assassinated? Well, it beats nailing him up, you know what I mean? Did you know that? Sure. Some special things for you. Some special things for me, too. And we have a special guest here today. Can you say that? Guest? Sure. I knew you could. We're going to talk today to a musician, the guy who plays the bass. And you know what a bass is, don't you? Can you say that? Don't? Sure you can. Hello. How are you? You think you get somebody to give me a cup of coffee or something? You're not used to getting up early, so. <laughs> I'm not here yet. What time do you usually get up? I usually get up when the sun is warm, like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I like to get up about 6.30. That's insane. It's just stupid. Huh? You should sleep late, man. It's just much easier on your constitution. We're going to talk about your bass and, and how big it is and things like that. It looks like a violin, but it's bigger, isn't it? It's a hell of a lot bigger. Can you say wow, that? Wow, this is a little wimpy thing. Can you say wimpy? Wimpy? That's right. Wimpy thing? I like the way you say that. Did you know that? 
I do now. The hell, you're easily amused, aren't you? I say wimpy, wimpy, wambly. I know what you mean. You know something? I like what your your face does when you play. It kind of gets all sort of squinched up. Yeah, you know? somebody told me once that my face when I played a bass, it looks like some sort of a, a, a like a big uh, jellyfish or something like that. It just keeps moving. Sure. You can never identify what the face is. It's real ugly sometimes, and you know, it looks like a fruit or something like that. It just keeps flashing it. You know, yeah, really, really sure. Or something. Tell me some of the things you think about when you're playing about the images. Because, of course, when you're playing, I thought of things like sheep and things like that, little candies, fresh little candies and things like that. Do you think of those things, too? Oh, I, I basically think about my financial situation. I count every like beat I, I play, every note I play, and I figure out how many notes I give in, uh, into the space, you know, uh -huh. out in the space. Sure. Uh, for how much I'm getting paid, and I am working cheap. Must be hard to sort of struggle to get your band together. Oh, you? man, especially when you be listening to him, man. That is the worst. Huh? I, I worked as a mover for two years while I was first getting a band together. And I also, I've also made pizza. But now you're playing music, and so the story sort of has a happy ending, doesn't it? Uh, it's, yeah, it's sort of a happy ending. Uh, we just got the shaft from a record company that had promised to pay us a certain amount of royalties and oh, they said that all sorts of stuff went into pre-production and charged us for typewriters. They'd be charging us for stamps, they say, and stuff. How much sure. is a stamp, you know? Sure. I, I buy the goddamn stamp. You sure. Know? I know what you mean. Well, I'm sure a lot of people out there would like to know how a big, strong guy like you plays the bass so well get to be so strong what it eats to be like that. Can you tell us that? Well, I eat a lot of garbage food, but uh, I, I mainly just on stuff like sandwiches and tins of tuna, chicken, something like that from a chain store, soda. Do you ever have Egg McMuffin? Sometimes, Dad, or cheese bread. Can you say Egg McMuffin? Egg McMuffin, yeah. Well, I know what I'd like to do now. I'd like to hear you play some bass. Yeah, like I'd like to do that. Well, we're going to go to the Magic Kingdom. Oh, no, man. It's too early for me. <laughs> I got to drive. The scribe had buddy with barricades. Hey, it's, uh, and the, the good and bad points. Good way to use your head. <laughs> but, uh, and he gets you a free walk, man, from your friends in the hospital. Okay. But, uh, I might want to set this up. John put his head on a moving car and hit a barricade by accident and, and uh, kind of hurt him. Why did you do that? I don't know, but I was just, just drunk at the time, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> this goes back to the theory everyone is indeed a winner in their own way. Pat, got a question for you. Yeah, yeah I was just wondering uh, what happens after we die, you know? Well, Todd, it's like a great barbecue in the sky. It's great music, great drinks, lots of swinging chicks. That's how I think it is, Todd. So, I think it's kind of a hedonistic kind of thing. Very hedonistic, very, um, very, uh, plagiaristic, yeah, it's, we copy up everybody. Um, yeah. Okay. Is that the beginning or the end? No, this is not. Because after this, we go on to something far greater. Something far greater than we've ever done before. What's that? Well, we come back to Earth as game show hosts. Who do you want to be? Um, uh, Pat Sajak. Why? Um, maybe get some mess around with Banner. Imagine he does. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Give me a C, a bouncy C. Yeah. I knew a girl who lived on a hill. She wouldn't do it, but my sister would. But anyhow, so time is talking to Maria, and we're all having a good time. Plus, he was still... Okay. Butter Earhart Pro. F Wait, hold on. What does he say? Butter Earhart Pro Guide Fishing Service and Fish and Steps, right? Talking with uh, Dave and Todd here. Uh, talking. Yeah, talking talk fish. Talking talk fishing. Talking fish. I know this now. Okay. Same, same well, that boy there bouncing on his bait kind of reminds me of my day I had a largemouth yep. bass hook. And boy, I tell you, man, I set that hook deep in that old hog's mouth. I said, it back and I rocked back that good old trialing, trialing by Berkeley. Trialing by Berkeley, we always use it. <laughs> Berkeley of spirit like yeah. Iowa. Man, I sat back and that, line, line with you. that line old filament just to bounce it and to bounce it and to bounce it. There I was out in the middle of Toledo Van Reservoir, 
About the only lick it seems like I ever fish on in my program. I'm out there. <laughs> <laughs> and there I was. Nibble, nibble, nibble. The bass. Smack down right back there, boy. I hooked that bass and there he was. A reeling and a huffing, a huffing and a reeling. Or was that me? I can't rightly remember. But there I went that fish across the lake and good God, I missed my life. It had to be 18 pounds. It was a <laughs> real big fish. <laughs> and man, I got that up to the boat. And there I was, about to grip the most beautifulest bass you've seen in the whole world. And what happened? What happened? I had to go to church. I forgot all about it. I said, the Lord has come first. <laughs> so I unhooked that dainty old... 25 pound Hello. world record bass and went to church. Went to church. And yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah on that. I'll tell you what, the preacher took the day off. You know why? Why is that? Well, I made it to church on Sunday, you know, you that sinny guy, but it was closed. I've yet to understand I haven't oh, been to church oh, since. Church. Synagogues are not open on Sunday. Did you know that? That's because you're Jewish. No, no, a synagogue. A synagogue is for Jews. Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's probably the reason. <laughs> I've been going there yeah, for a year yeah. and a half. That's the only church in town. Oh, well, wow. it's Abraham's Mudlick Falls in uh, Kentucky. Oh, we are when you're a shark. <laughs> Everybody, one, two. Okay. You're hanging up? No, come on. Man. No, come on. No, see you. You, enjoy. you bozo. What? Bozo. You hang up? You have a hang up, don't you? Hanging up. Hey, what the? I hope you enjoyed that fishing ramp. Uh, hello? Hello? I'm having a party in my room here. It's now uh, Friday the 3rd of October. And this is, this is, um, this is Kathy. Say hi, Kathy. She doesn't want to say anything. Say hi, Bill. Say hi. And what's the meaning of the universe? The meaning of the universe is party. Get drunk as you can because it's the only way to live. Thanks, Bill. Billy here. Uh, really hot chick here. She's got uh, guys with weird hair in her shirt here. What's hap What's hap What is you know? What's life about? And then you die. I've heard that before. Come on, let's be creative. Promiscuity is going to destroy our nation, our great nation. Don't have a damn good time doing it, though. Well, good point, but. I think like, yeah. Pat, my roommate's back. Say happy. Hey, here's to you, Dave. Uh, Richard, Richard, uh, is a nice guy. Laugh for us, Rich. Come on, laugh. Said a few. Say something. <laughs> no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. I'm very profound. I really am a nice guy. I don't know what you're saying, but. He was raped by his babysitter. <laughs> Things are getting weird here. I gotta end. Gotta end. Back to more murder. We've got a special guest here from from the Carson Show, Mr. Ed McMahon. Man, you're really fat, but how'd you get on the Carson Show? <laughs> Ed, you're really you're a real loser. You know that. <laughs> we'll be right back. Uh.
Ava Nagila, Ava Nagila, Ava Nagila. We're back with more mirth. Dad, I know you're probably pretty excited about this. We have a special guest. What do you think of that? <laughs> Jackie Rogers Jr. with us. Isn't he fun? Let's give him a hand. Isn't he fun? Isn't he fun? Uh, thanks, Come thanks, on. Thanks. Jackie, how are you? Uh, I'm just fine. And as my, my You're looking my, good. Oh, thank you, thank you. And as my late father, Jackie Rogers Sr. would say, well, you know what he'd say. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 Oh, Jack, you're fun. We'll be right back. We're back with more Merv. Ooh, hey. Dad, I know you'll back me up on this one. And Jackie, I know you will, too. Oh, yeah. But I think Jackie really gets... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Merv, Merv. No, oh, I'm just funny now. Well, Merv, I, I just let everyone out there in TV land, I'd like them to know that, that you have a very... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. Oh, you're you're funny. Oh, no. What do you think and, of that, Miss Miller? <laughs> and, and, and you know what my, my, my father, the late Jackie Rogers Sr., used to say? Well, you know what he used to say about that. <laughs> 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 We'll be right back. It's more Merv to come, so stay tuned. Channel 7 Newsbait, tonight at 10. We're back with more Merv. That was a special tribute to our next guest. Sid Barrett came all the way from England, founder of Pink Floyd. Sid Barrett's with us. Ooh, what do you think of that, Ed? Oh, hey, let's bring him out. Sid Barrett's here. I've always been a fan of your music. I know Eddie has been, too. And we, uh, you, we, uh, we really been wondering what you've been doing. Oh, well, sometimes... I watch the pretty clouds, and the purple ones are my favorites, although the green ones do have a nice tint to them in the dawn hours. Ooh, hey, isn't that fun, isn't it? What else have you been doing, music-wise? Um, I hum a lot in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's just a musician god, isn't he? And you know, and you know what my father, the late Jackie Rogers Sr., what a, well, you know what he was. Oh, 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 it's, it's, it's just, well, what I think is not quite as important as Sid himself. <laughs> <don't> you say? <laughs> oh, you're fine, you're fine. What do you think, Sid? About what? About England. England? Um, that's a country, right? Yes. Um, Isn't it fun? Boo! <laughs> Boo! Uh, you know it, Murph. He's just a god, isn't he? Is he, though? Boo! <laughs> hey, um, is there a TV around here I could watch? You know? <gasps> yeah, you can watch the miner up there. Isn't that right, Miss Miller? <laughs> hey, look. Boo! That yeah. man looks like me. Oh. Yeah, that is, that is you, Sid. We'll be right back. We're back. Jackie Rogers Jr., I know you prepared a song for us. And oh, yes, yes. I'm very excited about hearing it, aren't you, Ed? Oh! Yes, I know you are. Jackie Rogers, without any further ado, Jackie Rogers Jr. and his vocal song stylings. Jackie, take it away. <laughs> I, I'd, like you to, I'd like you to hear my, my, my rendition of a, a current really great tune. Here I go. You could have a steam train if you just lay down your tracks. You could have an airplane flying if you bring your blue sky back. All you need to do is call me. I'll be anything you need. Thank you, thank you. That's my brother. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, Roger. Sid Barrett. It's been so much fun. So much fun. We'll see you again when Merv comes back next week. <laughs> so that's so long. Bye-bye. It's been for furnished by Carson Productions. Special guest, uh, the little shepherd girl, Heidi the Alps, is here <clears throat> from Germany. Um, I'm uh, putting her up for the evening. Felt sorry for her. Hello, Dave. I'm Heidi. I'm 19 years old and I'm a freshman here at Southern. My Deutsch is not so schlecht. Tschüss. Thank you, Heidi. I want some goat's milk. October 11th. I really apologize for delays in this tape. I introduced my friend Anne from Australia. She wrestles crocodiles in her spare time. and uh, She's over here visiting us. G'day, Dave. 
This is Annabelle, and I'm from Australia. And I hope you're having a great time in the army, and it's really beautiful for you. And I hope you're having lots of tinnies and eskies and lots of barbies. And I hope you've got great mates like Todd out there to look after you. And I'll see you around, okay? By the way, Dave, I don't really talk like that. <laughs> it's all night, Dave. 2.36 a.m., uh, September 11th. Pissed. I don't mind. I just went to a, a gay bar with the Australian girl and some other friends and uh, danced and stuff. It was really fun. Uh, this is a meeting of the minds uh, with two alternative corner tonight. Uh, the subject is the groups. The staircases are with us. The staircases are here. Gentlemen, the first question I'd like to ask you. Well, you better introduce us first. I'd like yeah, to introduce really you first. Why don't you introduce yourself? I think that'd be more appropriate. Yes. And, and your favorite color, too. Um, Get a speak up. Randy Ledbetter, and my favorite color is, um, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Mike oh, Shake. Uh, oh, oh, right. Never mind. Introduce me. Oh, oh, oh I'm Mike Schick, and uh, I'd like to introduce John, John, John Hunter. John Hunter, uh, who's like the percussionist, bassist. Uh, no, not bassist. He's a bassist. He's the bassist. That's the other person, Randy. Percussionist is uh, and drumming is all done by John Hunter. I think his favorite color is uh, like a light gray, maybe a medium blue, but you'd have to ask him about that. John, what's your favorite color? Like a light gray. Light gray, okay, good enough. Yeah. Tamara's introduction. Right Tamara's introduction, first question. The inspiration for the song, uh, how did that come about? Who is Tamara, and how did she influence your music? Okay, you have to. Okay. M Mike is Tamara. Okay. Yeah. Do, do a little. Do a yeah, little, please. Do a little Tamara. Sit back, sit back, relax. Do it. Uh, uh, uh. For your intuition. That's Micah's Tamara. And yeah. it has no influence because no influence. it's just all improvised. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's fun to listen spontaneous. to. Yeah. Yeah. Spontaneous. Spontaneous. Yeah, that, yeah, that's one of those spontaneous things. One of those things. So effective, so, uh, so, so, I, I so think so. But who, who, Can I have a cigarette? Who did Tamara develop from? She had to be inspired by some, you know. His oh. brain. Oh, His yeah. visual. Yeah. It all yeah. came from Mike's brain. Yeah. What, what, it was no. like a, Actually, what it came from was. Uh, Thank you, Randy. Uh, a Tamara, you know, it's one of those like fictitious names. It's Nobody really name. knows a girl named Tamara. I didn't. I don't think anybody in our group knew of anybody don't. named Tamara. No. I still don't. Never no. met one I know yet. A Tamara Onstead. Now see, that's only died. She, she died. had her eyes poked out. Did she die? She died. Yeah. It was something. But like... if that fan hadn't fallen off that building, yeah. oh no shit! If we could speak out for all the Tamaras in America that that wanted to help and please everybody else out what, there, what, what, would so what would we say? What would we say? What would we say if for all the Tamaras up? We'd say. We'd say. Relax. Relax. Sit back. Relax. <laughs> That's Enjoy. quite good, You're Todd. In. Thank you. I've been practicing this. That's good. Yeah. That's real good. Okay. Plywood Staircase is the uh, name of the band. Where'd it come from? <laughs> Not from the title song, it, uh, that was another spontaneous song. In yeah. the improvised, it improvised. It was improvised. It was a like ska reggae it was a, type well, song. The song "Plywood Staircases." I think it was actually a, yes. a self introduction into the ska reggae type but that song. Was that like, was our theme song that skyrocketed. I think that skyrocketed to number one in what seventy nine or eighty. But that evolved from your mind. That song also "Plywood Staircases" because like the video. Oh, I guess it did. Yeah. Mike, you are the lyricist. Where does your inspiration come from, other than drugs? There is no um, other inspiration in the band. There is no inspiration. Actually, I feel quite uh, annoyed, misdirected, annoyed. and annoyed. Yeah, annoyed. Yeah, exactly. yeah I told you can so. Thank you. Can I thank you for you that? You can thank me all you want. Thank you, John. You're more than welcome. Um, yes, you? Usually, I am quite annoyed when I sing sing lovely songs like this because uh, they make me puke. So you call it kind of a uh, su puke, yeah. suburban it angst. It annoys me because I really don't like to puke. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. That kind of smelly whore bait's one of my faves, and I, and I was wondering if there was a lovely lady that inspired that song, perhaps. Uh, Her name's a Marsha. Marsha, okay. Yeah, she Marcia. looks kind of like a Q-tip. A Q-tip, a goat, and Carly Simon. I like think it, what it was is just that kind of uh, neat girl who really <coughs> just smells <coughs> so far away. 
But she's so like, damn ugly. You went through grade school and high school with this girl without really even knowing your first name. And, uh... And she's so ugly, you just didn't even want to know her name. Well, she's <coughs> dunk, you know. You didn't want to know her name because Well, she was a fat, so cut, smelly whore, babe. The, so you just called her by that. You called her, yeah. yeah. She fat accepted that. Uh, and I know it was kind of a tribute to her. It was psychological I think what it is, is, I think it's a song out of love. I think it's funny how she wound up with you know somebody we all know. It is a love song, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, I could tell it's a definite love general, song, but it's about though, in some it's a senses. real it's a real I stupid you, love song. I myself I break down and cry every time I hear it because I think it's such a beautiful love song. October thirteenth, uh, approximately one forty eight AM. We're at the end of the tape, we're at the end of the line. This has taken a long time. And now the end is near. And you know, it it's I I hope We've had a few laughs, a few tears, and most of all, I hope we've had happiness, you know, because I think that's what life's all about. And we're, that last conversation was with four very burnout acid heads that were tripping all day. I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of emotional about this. I just want to say, God bless you. I did it my way. See you real soon. <laughs> Ed McMahon. Ed McMahon's with us. Say goodbye, Ed. That's his own. He's waving goodbye to you. More Merv. We'll see you later. We've, we've wound up with a few seconds left to this side, so... Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait around until it ends. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. You'll never walk alone. Hey, don't lose this tape. It's a it's a real personal statement in the times. Do not lose this tape. Yeah, the tape cost a buck too. So yeah, you owe me a buck, man. <laughs> Do not lose this tape. Stamps. Or I'll kill you. Buck for the tape, for the stamps. That's right. Take it easy. Bye bye.